today's episode of My Cupcake Addiction, I'll be showing you how to make this super simple two ingredient cookies and cream ice cream sandwich. The things that you'll need for your ice cream sandwiches, you'll need a bowl, you'll need some Oreo cookies or some other sandwich cookies, a knife and a spoon and a Ziploc bag. I've got a circular cookie cutter which is the same size approximately as my sandwich cookies and I've got some really good quality vanilla ice cream. I've also got a rolling pin and off to the side I've got just a shallow baking tray. Let's get started. To start off with you want to smash up your cookies so I'm just going to throw all of my Oreos into a Ziploc bag and I'm going to beat them with my rolling pin. You can also use a food processor here but I like a really nice thick chunky cookie. I don't want it to be processed too fine because when I actually eat the ice cream sandwiches I want the cookies in the ice cream to be really really nice and chunky so I get that crunch. Take your vanilla ice cream now and you want this softened so that you can scoop it out quite easily but you don't want it completely thawed. Now the better quality your ice cream, the better those ice cream sandwiches are going to refreeze. They'll keep that creamy consistency instead of going icy like cheaper ice cream can sometimes do. Pour in your cookies and you just want to stir them through and what you should have here is a really nice sort of a self-made cookies and cream ice cream. Of course you can just buy cookies and cream ice cream from the store but I always like to control the amount of cookies that I've got in my ice cream. And I find vanilla is generally a little bit cheaper to buy. So spread your cookies and cream ice cream into your baking tray. Don't grease it or line it with anything. Spread it straight in and use the back of a spoon just to smooth it out before covering it with some plastic wrap and popping it back in the freezer for at least six hours so that it freezes back rock solid. While that's off freezing, you can prepare your other Oreo cookies here. So I'll leave all of the quantities that you'll need down below. You just want to split these in half and scrape out the cream. You can dispose of it or you can eat it because it is delicious. But basically you just want all of your little naked separated Oreo cookies. When your cookies and cream slab is completely frozen, take your cookie cutter and you should just be able to press it straight down into the ice cream. Give it a little twist and it should suck that little core of cookies and cream ice cream straight out for you. If it doesn't, you can get a little knife underneath it to just help kind of extract it. Take one of your Oreo cookies, slide on that little piece of cookies and cream ice cream, sandwich them together and give them a really nice squeeze. You want to get those back in the freezer as quickly as you can because they will start to melt quite quickly and you can store these ready-made in an airtight container in the freezer for up to a month. So you can just pull them out when you need them, when you've got friends over or anytime you just feel like a sneaky ice cream sandwich. Now I have so many cool Oreo things on my channel, I've decided to make an Oreo cookies and cream playlist. So if you're Oreo obsessed, make sure you check it out, I will link down below. Subscribe to My Cupcake Addiction for new uploads every week and as always, thanks very much for watching.